Hi, here we are demonstrating on how uh, BMS can control the, rel the relay. This is the BMS, it's powered by 96 volts. This is the negative side and this is the negative side and this is the positive side. Okay, so we have the negative side going in the BMS. This blue wire is powering the BMS and other uh, negative wire is going to the load. This will present the load. Uh, here we have also the positive side of the wire. In this case, since this is a relay controlled BMS, it goes, this uh, red wire goes to the relay. From the relay we have a thin wire that goes to the power supply, which is a power supply for the relay itself. Okay, so this relay is, uh, this power supply is for the relay, it's powered by 96 volts and then uh, it, tr it transforms 96 volts to 12 volts, which is used to power the coil of the relay. In this case, we have incoming 96 volts, positive, going with the thin wire to the uh, power supply itself and from there 12 volt goes to the uh, power of the relay coil. This is the load side but as you see now we don't have any load Vol voltage uh, says 0 volts so no, vol uh, no uh, relay is now uh, open and uh, it doesn't allow any uh, current to go through it. Okay, so uh, how does the BMS control uh, controls the, the relay? Uh, the, BMS, the BMS works in, in the same principle like usual, but in this case we don't have anything connected to the BMS negative wires, which is usually used for the load. In this case, these uh, wires are only used to power the uh, power supply of the relay. So the negative side in our case will go directly to the load, positive will go to the uh, relay and the negative uh, wire from the BMS will control the power supply which is controlling the relay. So when you uh, enable this charge or activate the coil close it, it will, uh, this negative wire will uh, put, uh, will allow uh, power supply to close the coil and uh, load will be active. Okay, so this, now we will demonstrate how this works. This is the app for the BMS and we will allow now discharge as you maybe heard it's the relay the relay is now closed and the current goes through the relay, relay. now we have 99.13 volts so the relay is now active closed and the current is flowing through it so as we said we'll repeat one more time negative goes directly to the load positive goes to the coil which to the relay which is uh, in the default mode uh, open so no current cannot flow and uh, from from there we have also 96 volts coming to the power supply which is going to the relay power so relay is powered by and controlled by 12 volts and negative side is controlled by the BMS, which is the usual setup. So, for example, we will now try to disable it. As you see, the voltage goes to the zero. So this is a very uh, simple principle on how this all works and uh, how you can use a relay in opposite of how it works usually 
in the in the usual way it controls the negative wire and all the load goes to the negative and this is not good because then you need to ha have a very expensive BMS and very uh, big BMS which is very very expensive then and also it's much safer to 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 cut the load on the positive wire because batteries cells are here is an example battery cells are wrapped by negative and positive is only on one side that's it